I just can't believe what Mrs. Day did yesterday. I don't know why she did such a thing, but I can only assume that it was because I wouldn't go out with her and that I wanted to hang out with my friends instead. I don't want to think like that because I don't want this guilt on me. The guilt that, that, that I caused someone to commit suicide. Now I know I can't blame myself, but I can't help but feel guilty for what happened to Mrs. Day. I just don't want it to be true, but it must be. Today's her funeral. <sighs> Mrs. Day, why did you have to do this? <sighs> oh, how you doing, Aviator? Not good, Jerry. Not good. I am so sorry about what happened yesterday. Uh, thanks, man. I, I just can't believe it. She seemed so happy. Why would she do that to herself? I have no idea. I, I really don't. It's just so sad. I've been thinking about it all night. And I really think she didn't do this to herself. What are you saying? I, I think someone... I think someone killed her. Wait, you think there's a murderer somewhere on campus? I don't know, I, I just can't bear the thought that she would do this to herself. It had to be someone else. I know, bud. It's hard to think that someone you care about would do this. It doesn't help that her funeral is today. I, I don't know if I can deal with all of this. Hey man, I'm here for you if you need me. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Well, I need to head to the funeral now. Okay, I'll be here if you need me. Okay, see you later, Jerry. <sighs> I never thought I'd be doing this. Going to a funeral. At least not in college. When you're in high school, college, and everything, you never think that anyone close to you can die. You feel invincible, so you think everyone around you is invincible. But the sad truth is, we're all just little blobs on a planet that's moving millions of miles per hour through space. And everything that happens is unpredictable. Today I have to bury my girlfriend. <laughs> that sounds so weird. And my teacher. Mrs. Day. God, it's so unbelievable. I, I just can't believe it. it. It's hard to fathom. I'm going to bury Mrs. Day right now. Oh, uh, hey, Matt. Hey, bud. How you holding up? Oh, man. I'm not good. It hurts to know someone you're close to would would do this to themselves. I wanted to talk about that, but I, I don't know if now's a good time. What? Is it about Mrs. Day's death or something? Yeah, it is, but I don't want to upset you right before the funeral. Just tell me. I, I can handle it. What is it? Well, I heard someone talking about it, and I, I overheard them talking about a man being on the roof. A man? What do you mean? I guess they saw a man standing on the roof after Mrs. Day fell. So wait. Maybe Mrs. Day didn't fall? Maybe she was pushed by that man? That's what I was thinking! Why else would a man be on the roof when Mrs. Day fell? Do you know who overheard? We need to talk to them and find out everything they saw. I think it was Trish and a couple of her friends. Okay, well after the funeral we need to go find Trish and see what she knows. Sounds like a plan, bud. We'll get to the bottom of this! Oh, I know I will. Uh, but I gotta go. I I'm I'll see you at the funeral, man. So wait, Matt thinks that he overheard Trish and some girls talking about a man being on the roof with Mrs. Day. The roof that Mrs. Day fell off of. Why else would anyone be on the roof? What would you be doing on the roof? Unless you're jumping like Mrs. Day was thought to have. But if there was two people up there, and the guy didn't jump, what was he doing up there? Was he trying to stop Mrs. Day from jumping? Or did he push her off? Oh man, I need to get to the bottom of this. I know Mrs. Day would want me to. Oh no, there's the graveyard right now. And there's Mrs. Day's plot. I don't know if I can do this. I really don't. I I'm so young and I, I just, I've never had an experience like this before. <sighs> okay, I just gotta do it. Mrs. Day would want me here. Okay. What do I even say? Oh, this is all so real. She's down there right now, and she's about to be buried forever. Never to be seen by the light of day ever again. Mrs. Day, if you can hear me, I don't know where you are, but I miss you. 
and, you know, maybe I wasn't very in, into us dating, but you were still a good person, and, and I'm sorry, I feel like I used you for popularity, and, and it, it's not sitting right with me, and I want to apologize for that. I don't know. Sometimes I wish I never started dating you, because maybe you wouldn't have done this to yourself. If you did commit suicide, was it because of me? Was it because I wanted to hang out with my friends instead of you that night? Please, Mrs. Day, give me a sign that... that you didn't do this to yourself. That someone did this to you. Because if someone did this to you, I promise I'll look into it. And I'll find the person responsible. I, I won't let you die in vain. <sighs> Goodbye, Mrs. Day. Goodbye. Oh, God. That was harder than I thought. Oh, there's Terry and Matt. I guess I can talk to them. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. I'm sorry what happened to your girl. Uh, thanks, Terry. I want you to know, though, you can't be in the frat anymore. Wait, what? Well, you're not dating a teacher anymore, so I can't have you in my frat. Why? You're just not as cool anymore. Sorry, man. Wow. Really? Just wow. See you around. No hard feelings. Whatever, Terry. Wow, dude. I just heard what happened. I'm sorry, man. Why would Terry tell me that? Of all days, why today? I have no idea, man. You can't pay much attention to him. We have a killer to find. Yeah, at least I have good friends like you. Matt, come on, we're out of here. Oh, Terry, I was gonna go with Aviator to do some things. Okay, so I guess you don't want to be in Omega anymore. What? No, of course I do, Terry. Well then, let's go. Now! Sorry, Aviator. Wait, Matt, you're going with him? Sorry, dude. You understand, right? No! No, I don't understand, Matt! Now, Matt! Sorry, Aviator. 